the this hype evening. on Hiroki Akimoto. Experts believe, folks, he is better than Tenshin. He is the number one prospect in the kickboxing world right now. The hottest kickboxing commodity out of Japan. A karate and Muay Thai world champion. Undefeated 19 and 0. And Campbell go. to the Lozzie battler, Josh Tonner, pull off what would be considered a major upset. Here we go, first round. Low trick from Tonner, comes out jabbing. Akimoto, Yokushin Karate champion, the hardest form of karate. World Muay Thai champion. And already we're seeing those hard karate roundhouse kicks from Akimoto. Tonner's got to get out of the kicking range. He needs to use the hands. Yokushin Karate doesn't have punches to the face, so that might be a weakness he can capitalize on, or at least an inexperienced he's been spending the past five years doing. Reaction comes into play. He needs to utilize those hands. Nice combination there from Tonner. Thrusts out the jab, does the Aussie. Evades the jab from Akimoto. Akimoto looks for a hook. The Japanese world champion, Rick Strippen's triated. Look at the size of the delta. It's the trap for Bison. Oh, roundhouse kick! There it is! The Mawashi get a roundhouse kick to the midsection of Josh Tonner. Ooh, that sucked the wind Six, out of him. He's seven, gotta breathe, he's gotta focus eight. back down, he's gotta okay. calm back down. I told you, Mish, those Go. Kyokushin roundhouse kicks are like nothing else in the martial arts world. And Akimoto now oozing with confidence. But we know Tom is a slow starter. Double forearms guard. He is feeling the power in the kicks of Akimoto. That Jab, man. right hand. One minute 45 remains, a long time to go in this opening round. tonner has gotta throw those hands, counter off those kicks. Don't let Akimoto get comfortable throwing those roundhouse kicks. Akimoto dancing on the balls of his feet. So much confidence. He's got his rhythm set now. The Japanese champ, the world champ. Look at the reddening on the midsection from Josh Tonner. From that one roundhouse kick off the left leg of Hiroki Akimoto. You can see why there's so much hype on Akimoto. Left hook there. Tonner comes forward, fires out a front kick. Tucks the chin, looking through the brow, Tonner. Good left hand from the Aussie. Overhand right to left hook. Overhand right again from Tonner. Akimoto sticks him on the top of pitch. That right hand keeps connecting. That's uh, That left side's oh, open there. Oh, there it is! He drops Akimoto! He drops Akimoto! Smack bang! Josh Tonner with his right hand, and he aims it up the score. Now we've got ourselves a step. Now we've got ourselves a match. My word, Josh Tonner. Dropping Akimoto with the right hand. And Connor's confidence now. Akimoto carries him with the left. Connor almost went down. This is crazy here. Connor again with the right hand. Akimoto a right of his own. Combination there from Connor. And a jumping knee from the little Aussie battler. A right hand to the jaw. And Akimoto clinches with him. Referee breaks them. 15 seconds to go. Both men scoring knockdowns in the opening round. Connor moves in close. No chance for the knees. Okay. What a go. round. What a contest. This is one super series between two extraordinary world champions. Stop. That right hand of Tona. He's got to throw it more. He's got to set it up. He's got to go to the body. Find the hands. If you can see, Akimoto drops his hands ever so slightly. Tona's got to use that to his advantage. Here's the first knockdown that we saw. Look at this. Well, not a knockdown, but look at that body kick. Almost folded him in half. Beautiful timing on that kick, but then the little Aussie that could comes forward and finds a home for that right hand. Right there, wobbles Akimoto as he crumbles to the canvas to tie it up. Now that's, that's, that's one knockdown a piece. How is that score? I would say unofficially, of course, Mitch, an even round on my scorecard. One knockdown a piece. It's an even contest going into the second. That is unofficially my scorecard only. Gary Hamilton in the corner there of the time bomb, and the ticking time bomb did explode. He finally woke up Josh Connor in that first round. Here we go in the second. Akimoto's been out of work for five years in a different rule set. Kyokushin, completely different skill set is involved. Akimoto undefeated 19 <laughs> Karate World no. Champion, Muay Thai World Champion. Josh Tonna also Muay Thai World Champion. And he slings the legs early here. Does Akimoto. Outside leg kick and the hands over the top from Tonna. Front kick from the Aussie. Yeah, no, right. In the red trucks, the man from Australia's capital of Canberra. Akimoto these days based out of his old MMA in Singapore. Outside leg kick from Akimoto Dragon. Akimoto's training, he's surrounded by Muay Thai world champions out there at Evolve Mixed Martial Arts, and he's definitely got some high quality.
big training partner. And you can see the swelling around the bridge of the nose of Akimoto. Tom has been landing that right hand. Front kick from the Aussie. Those punches to the face. Akimoto's not used to getting touched on that grill. You won't see the elbows in play here, folks. This is a one super series kickboxing match in four rounds clubs in the cage, and it's awesome. Nice stiff lead hand there from Akimoto. Two left hook from Josh Tonner. Akimoto tries to find range with that Kakasuki, that reverse punch on the right hand. Tonner clinches up with him, lands a knee. Referee Go. Oh, now he breaks them. It's just you can't look at I mean, the way that Tona moves forward. You can hit him with everything you got, but he will continually march forward. Look at his thighs. They're just automatic. They're starting to bruise up already. He's got welts all over but his body, but he continues to march forward and push. In his grit and determination personified in a human sponge, Josh Tona. Akimoto. Dancing on the balls of his feet. Tona sticks him with the right hand. Goes down the liver section. Nicely done from the Aussie. Roundhouse kick off the left leg. Front kick there from Tona. Akimoto shoots out the jab. Tona slips to the outside. Fires a lead kick. Combination work from Akimoto. Keeping out the distance in. But he is doing a number on the lead leg of Josh Tona. Look at the shades of purple. A kaleidoscope of colour on the outside lead side. Jab. Right hand. Outside leg kick there from Akimoto. The power lady champion from Japan. The nuggety grit of the Australian Josh Tonner. Kimoto puts these combinations together very slickly. He's throwing these low kicks to high kicks to mixes it up with the hands very well. But look at Tony, just eats him and walks forward. This one is so close, folks. With 35 seconds remaining in the second of three. Both men putting counts on the other. Three seconds round. In the round. They've been toe to toe. Not giving each other an inch, not even a millimetre here in the second. Front kick from Tonna. Akimoto resets himself. Let's see him launch that right roundhouse kick. Hasn't really fired off for him in the second stanza. Likes that lead left kick. So he gets very quickly, almost no setup whatsoever. He just flicks that left kick up to the body of Tona. Good combination of the hands there from Akimoto. Had some speed and some power behind the lead hook. Two rounds down, one to go. That was a nice second round. I like it. It was very closely matched. If Chabello calls it even in the first, that second one was pretty close too. Look at Tona slipping right through the guard of Akimoto, touching him on the chin, pushing forward the little odds that it could, proving it can be done. And then look at Akimoto. Look at these combinations. Look how he does it. Boom, goes to the body. Boom, throws some hands and then punctuates it at the end. Look at that. Bah, goes right back to the body again. Very fluid movement from Akimoto. Folks, once again, we are scoring this one on a 10-point must system. Give the winner of that second round 10 points. The less dominant boxer, 9 points. Wherever you're watching, in 138 countries around the world. Did you have the second round for Tona? Did you have the second round for Hiroki Akimoto? Tona, ISKA world champion. Akimoto, karate world champion. Muay Thai world champion. More than 100 world champions in all martial arts here in the home of martial arts champions. One championship. Third and final round of this one super series kickboxing match. And Tonna opens up jabbing. Harry's that roundhouse kick. Tonna wants to get on the inside. Akimoto would like to get this one a kicking range. Held overhand right to an outside leg kick from Tonna. Front kick to the midsection. Step through knee from the Australian. Jabs there from Akimoto. Got to keep the left hand up though, Akimoto. He's dropping it. And Tonna's trying to kill that overhand right over the top of the left shoulder. Very sneaky with those kicks, but that karate style has those hands Stop. very low. He's not used to catching these things on the chin. Go! On a dip down to the river section just a few moments ago. Gets on the inside of the jab, does the Aussie. Goes downstairs to the lead by. Both men setting a very quick pace. A little bit put for the third and final round. Chad to a straight right hand from Akimoto. Roundhouse kick. Double forearms caught it from Tonna. But it almost broke with him. Outside leg from Tonna. Checks the low kick. Goes to the back leg of Tonna. From a true raise there. Checking leg there. Akimoto measuring. Oh, there it is. Body kick. For Washigeri. Kyokushin style from Akimoto. And Tonna is hurt. Can he make the count here? He does by the count of eight. Referee Oldari wipes off the glove. That was a classic 
Jokic and Karate Mawashi get his roundhouse kick to the midsection from Agamota. Oh, there's the head kick! And Connor's in trouble. He fires back to the front kick to the midsection. But Agamota's got his confidence again. It's losing now from the world champion from Japan. Will he go 20 and 0 tonight? Connor evaded that one. Look at the swelling around Connor's right eye. The little Aussie battler with the overhand right goes to the river. Back upstairs, a wild overhand right, hoping for the big tough bumper, a jumping roundhouse kick. And look how Akimoto measures him. Step go Connor for a second time. Beautiful combination for it from Hiroki Akimoto. Connor gets up on the count of eight. One more knockdown, it's all over. And there's still 50 seconds on the clock. Go! Can Tonner go on? Yes, he can. The human sponge back at it. Jab from Tonner. He's not done yet, but he may very well be. Beautiful low kick there from Akimoto. Now he's turning it on. Now he's putting on a show. There's the head kick from Akimoto. And Tonner picks him off. And the crowd comes in from the little Aussie battler. Two world champions going toe to toe now. Tonner with the jab. Akimoto kicks him with the left hook. Downstairs from Akimoto. Bouncing the ball to his feet. Confidence from every paw. Akimoto is fast as five. Tonner continually coming forward. All guts. High kick from Tonner. Combinations again from Akimoto. And there's the end of the third and final round. My word. Take your hat off to Josh Tonner if you're wearing a hat. But I believe that Hiroki Akimoto is going to go 20 and 0. Wow, Akimoto, he seemed to warm up as the match went on. He just got sharper, more crisper, cleaner shots. There's that body shot. Look at that. Tona goes, oh yeah, you got me, you got me. Let me just take a minute. Let me just take a second. Look at that straight right hand. Beautiful combinations. The way that he is putting these things together is extremely impressive. He seems to just get stronger and sharper as the match went on. But how good is Josh Tona? How much heart does he have? For the guy they're calling the number one prospect in the world right now, Josh Tona, took him the distance. The, eye, the, the guy the experts believe is better than tension, and he showed in that final round. Akko Malta was superb. He's done now. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of battle, we turn now to the judges' scorecards. All three judges have scored this contest in favor of your winner by unanimous decision from the blue corner, Akimoto. Hiroki Akimoto is the truth. He is the real deal. He wins by decision. Two knockdowns in the last round. One knockdown in the opening round against the tough, rugged, valiant and resistant Josh Connor from Australia.